Hello there, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you on how you can make a Thanksgiving invitation using Canva. Canva is a great graphic designing software which I use all the time and it's really user friendly and the best part is it's free though there is a pro version which I believe is $12.99 a month. But other than that, let's get right into the video. First thing you need to do is go onto a web browser and search up canva.com. So you're going to come to this page right here. You can either log in or sign up. If you can log in if you already have an account or you can just quickly sign up. It doesn't really take that long, but uh, I'll just go ahead and log in. After logging in or signing up, you will come to this page right here. After that, you're going to search your contents or canvas. So you're going to search up invitation and you're going to come across these three options, invitation landscape, invitation portrait, and invitation square. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a square invitation. Once you click on it, you will come to this screen right here. Now, as you can see, there is already like Thanksgiving and like Friendsgiving and like Thanksgiving dinner and like templates already available. But as you can see, you have to pay for these ones or their pro versions. But in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a invitation from scratch. So you're just gonna go ahead and click create a blank invitation. Now, once you do that, where it's gonna look like just like some blank white page. So what we're gonna do first is you're gonna see all of these um, options on the side here, templates, elements, uploads, text, projects, photos, audio, background, and apps. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to click on text. Once we click on text, we're going to click to add heading. And first we're going to add the kind of title for it. So you could either say like, join us, join us for Thanksgiving, or you could say, you're invited to you could say a bunch of stuff but i just like to keep it simple and just say join us for and then we're just i'm just gonna go ahead and uh kind of put this on the top here now it looks pretty plain and really bad font and i just don't like it so what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be changing the font so if you've unclicked from it you're just going to click on it again and you're going to have all of these options on the top here to change a font, all you're gonna do is click this first drop down bar here, which automatically has Canvas Sans on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just choose a random font here. So I really like this one. I think this one's pretty cool. So I think this is good. Now um, I'm gonna delete this and maybe make it all uppercase here. And it looks like really, really like, Kind of like join us for or we'll kill you kind of vibe so i'm gonna make it a little bit more nicer so i'm just gonna go ahead select everything select this uh title here and we'll click on effects so there's a bunch of different styles and shapes you can choose from so uh there's the style you can choose like shadow lift hollow which is my probably my favorite one splice echo glitch which i don't really use so does neon i don't really use that often and then there's also background for the style i'm going to just choose none but i am going to change the shape there is two options which is none and then there's um curve so i'm going to click on curve and as you can see this is like really really curvy so i'm going to just um slide this here and make it a little bit less curvy <laughs> there we go um and i think it's it's pretty good now I am going to change the color here and I'm just gonna kind of resize it. You can resize it two ways by just um, increasing it here or just typing what you want. Or you can just drag this here, drag one of the corners. So next I'm gonna change the color. Uh, this is pretty nice color I think. Um, but you wanna choose some like Thanksgiving colors since it's you know Thanksgiving. Next what we're gonna do is around the main part, the text Thanksgiving. So what I'm gonna be using is an element. 
So to choose an element, all you have to do is go back to the side here and click on elements. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna search up Thanksgiving. And you'll see this bunch of options pop up here. You know, there's graphics or photos you can choose from or videos, but we're just gonna go with graphics here. So I'm gonna click see all to get a wider view. Just bunch of options. Now, some of these like says Happy Thanksgiving and over here too, but as you can see, it has a pro or like a crown icon on it, which means it's a pro feature, so you have to pay to use it, um, but there is a seven day free trial. But um, I'm just gonna go with the top element here. I think it's a great one for free. That's, that's worth it, you know? Now, you can change the color over here, but I'm just gonna keep it the same color. I think it's already great. Now, next, we're going to add the time and the address, which is like the most important part of making an invitation. So we're gonna go back to text here. And instead of choosing add a heading, we're gonna click on add a subheading. So now I'm just gonna quickly drag this down and I'm going to type in some random time. Like, uh, I'll just write like 5 p.m. or something like that. You can write whatever time your Thanksgiving dinner or party is. Um, so make this a little bit in the middle here and then you, know, you can write your address. I don't know, I'm just writing some random address here. <laughs> Maybe this is a real address, who knows? But there's two ways you can actually like write the time and the address. So you could write like time uh, colon, right? Or you could just like leave it just 5 p.m., right? I feel like 5 p.m., like without the time and the address, I feel like it just looks more cleaner, but you can choose whatever you prefer. I'm gonna change the color of this and also change the font. There we go. And now you can like add like activities or something. You know, I would add like uh, food and family fun. Could add like something like that to tell you like what you're gonna be doing during the Thanksgiving party. So I've added this space here because I have this really cool idea. So I'm gonna like try to meet this in the middle here. Just like that. And I'm gonna go back to elements and I'm gonna search up circle. And I'm just gonna resize it a little bit smaller and resize it really small. So now it's kind of getting like really small. So um, what I'm gonna do is just zoom in, which I can use by clicking the zoom button and choosing one of these options here. There we go. So it's a little bit bigger. Uh, it's, this option here is very helpful. I, I use it all the time. I'll just go back to what it looked like before. And yeah, I think that looks great. Now I am going to maybe delete the fun here, you know, that that sounded wrong, but now that is perfect. Now, I'm, I don't know exactly where the center is, so I'm just gonna select this and click position. And what well, looks like I'm already in the center, so that's great, but you can always align it by using like the position button here. I think it's a great option and great feature Canva has. Now this looks great. Now the most fun part adding more elements. As you can see, all of these really fun elements here, which you can like add, you can add a border, you can add like leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and find some cool elements to add. This also looks cool, but it's on, it's, uh, I can't, I don't wanna put another thing on this side. So I wanna put it on this side, but it doesn't really look that well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip it. So all I have to do is select the image, click flip, and click flip horizontal. And as you can see, it flips the other way. I think this is like so cool. I use this all the time, because sometimes you just you don't get the right image. It's not oriented well. And you can just change that in the click of a button.
So uh, as you can see, I've added a bunch of elements, but you wanna add just enough, but not too much. But we are missing one more thing to change the background. So you want something that complements everything. You can, of course, keep it to white, but I'd like to go with this off-white kind of color. You know, to get that, I just click on yellow here, and then I go on to add a new color, and I can just use the color uh, wheel here and kind of slide it to wherever I want, and then, yeah. And look at that, we've made a awesome invitation here for Thanksgiving. So if your invitation turned out to be a disaster, don't worry, I got you. I made a ton of different templates for Thanksgiving to choose from. All of them will be linked down in the description below. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below and I'll reply as soon as possible. And if this helped you out, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can see more awesome tech tutorials just like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.